I believe in healthy competition because it only helps me not get satisfied with myself too easily nor too soon. It's perfectly okay to envy other people's success as long as we can guard our hearts and objectively measure ourselves. Take this from me. Compare with those above you if you want to improve. Compare with those below if you want to give thanks. People are holy, out the Holy Spirit school in my life. I can learn so much from them. One of the genre of books that I love the most is called biography. I collect books and most of them are biographies, stories of how people fail and people succeed. Read some books, do your homework and learn from other people. And if I see anybody who's more successful than me, I'll teach and discipline my heart to be able to rejoice with them. I'm happy for other people's success, but I don't stop there. I'll, I'll ask God to use them as an instrument to wake me up. For I envy their success, I, I keep this healthy competing spirit in me that says, if he can do it, I can too. So be careful if you are already successful ahead of me. If you're sleeping now, I will overtake you because I'm going to race against you. But those people who are below me has taught me to give thanks for what I've already had and strengthened me to be able to say enough. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've entrusted me. But again, I won't, I won't smile at other people's uh, uh, misfortune. If I see somebody less fortunate than me, not only that person has taught me to give thanks, but he has given me a homework. As long as he is in my reach, in my sphere of influence, I'm responsible to do something for them. I'm not to gloat over other people's uh, less success. I will, by God's will, do something for them and with them to help them enjoy and have what I already have. Because after all, everything that I have comes from Him. But my friends, this is the message here. I want to encourage you to be able to learn from people whether they are already dead or they are alive and use them as an instrument for God to speak and teach something precious to you. And I want to challenge you to a race. On your mark, get set, you better get going because I'm running fast.